Hello, everyone, and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Long time ago, I introduced the Nano PC T6 from Friendly Alec. In this video, let's check out the device performance with Friendly WRT, a fork of OpenWRT that was developed by Friendly Alec for the Nano PC and Nano Pi device. Let's see the actual one to one throughput, Wi Fi, of 4G LTE speed as well as the power consumption of the Nano PC T6 in real life uses. For this test, I have installed some modules. The Realtek RTL AA22CE wireless module for Wi Fi 5, Cactus EC25EM for 4G LTE connection, and an Intel Optane NVMe LSD for storage. The reasons I connect all of this to the Nano PC T6 is to know what is the power consumption when all the modules are connected. The device comes with Ubuntu pre installed In order to install OpenWRT to the EMC storage of the Nano PC T6, there are several ways, and I prefer the micro SD card installation because it is simple. Here is how I did it. First, Download the RK35AA eFlasher Friendly WRT firmware from the folder SD to eMMC images. After that, burn it to the micro SD card with Rufus or Balena Actual. The micro SD card should be at least 8GB. Then, insert the micro SD card to the Nano PC T6, power it on. Here, in order to see what is going on, I have connected the HDMI monitor. We can see that the device will automatically boot from the micro SD card, copy the friendly WRT firmware to the EMMC. All of this happens in just a few seconds. If you don't have a monitor, you can wait for 3 to 5 minutes, and then remove the power supply and the micro SD card. Finally, let's connect back the power supply and internet cable and start using the Nano PC T6 with friendly WRT. In the default configuration, Ethernet 1 is a 1 port and Ethernet 2 is a LAN port. Let's log in to the Nano PC T6 at 192.168.2.1. The default username is root and the default password is password. Very good. This is Frank WRT running on the Nano PC T6. We can see that it is based on OpenWRT 23.05.4 with kernel version 6.1.57. Both network ports are up and running at 2.5 gigabit per second. In the default setup, the one port is configured as GSCP client. I will run a quick speed test before we move to the next test. Now, let's check out the LTE or 4G speeds with the Nano PC T6. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have inserted the Cactel EC25EM to the device. The module was configured to work in USB Net 3, so I expect a USB RNDIS device will show up. Let's go to Network Interfaces and create the 4G interface. I name it 4G. Protocol, GSCP Client, Physical Device, select USB 0 and hit Create. Make sure it is assigned to the one firewall zone, and we should be good to go. All good, we have the traffic passing by. Now, the one Ethernet port is not connected, so we only have Internet access from the LTE module. Let's check out the speed. The download speed is acceptable at around 20 Mbps. However, the upload speed is very poor, it is under 3 Mbps regardless of the host. I will double check this with another module or SIM card and update you guys in another video. Let's move to the one to one throughput test. Both Ethernet ports are up and running with 2.5 gigabit link speed. The one port is connected to the upstream routers at 10.42.0.1 and it's got one IP address up. 10.42.0.29 I will enable packet steering and leave the firewall setting at default, which is shortwave and hardware offloading off. Here, I have a power meter to see the actual power consumption when the test is running. 
During idle, the power consumption is at 6.5 Watt. Please note that this is with both 2.5 qubit Ethernet ports connected, 4G module, wireless module, and NVMe LSD connected as well. Let's check out the open speed test speed. Very good, we are having 2450 MPPS download and CPU load is around 34%. The load is shared between all cores of the CPU except for the last core. For upload, the speed is at 2,443 Mbps and the CPU load is around 30%. We can see that the peak power consumption when the traffic is fully loaded is 8.1 Watt. I will run another test just to make sure the number we got are correct. Now, let's do the same with iPub3. With 4 streams running in normal mode or offload, I have a stable throughput of 2.37 Gigabit per second. The same speed for reverse or download, we can see that the CPU consumption is also the same which is around 30%. Now let's see what is the Wi-Fi throughput we have with the Realtex RTL AA22CE. This network card will bundle with the Nano PC T6. Frame WRT already have the driver for it, so I don't need to do anything on Lucy. Let's enable the interface and connect to it using a Windows computer. My PC is having the Intel's AX210 module and it is connected to the Nano PC T6 LSID. On the Nano PC T6, the RX and TX is unknown, but the signal strength is minus 50 dBm, a very good number for the connection. Let's jump into the open speed test. Unfortunately, the download speed is extremely poor, it is only 300 Mbps, while the upload speed is reaching 700 Mbps. Let's have another test with software offloading enabled. Still same result, download cap at 308 Mbps, and upload speed is 666 Mbps. To make sure the number is correct, I run the test with iPub3, and the result is identical. I have also changed the channel from 157 to 36, changed the country code to US and do the test again, but the download speed is not increasing. Perhaps it is the limitation of the Realtek module. You may be wondering how is either OpenVPN, Wagot VPN throughput, and SQM QS performance of the Nano PC T6. Well, since this device has the same blockchip RK35AA SOC with the Nano Pi R6S, you can check out the video I done earlier for the R6S for more information. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.